Money is a neutral tool. Money only reflects the values and intentions of those who possess it. Money in and of itself is not bad, it is not good, it is just neutral. It is a tool to be used. If a good person handles money, the good person will use that money based on his good values to do good things, to help people build and you know, bring innovations that are going to aid the community, the society. But if an ill-intentioned person, an evil or bad person will hold money, that person will determine what money is because money is determined or impacted by who handles it, who possesses it. In and of itself, it is neutral. Money can actually catalyze unethical behaviors and it can catalyze corruption and all other things that could be done evil but that is because of those who possess it so which tells that money reveals the character or true nature of who handles it that is why in life you can actually test people's character maybe as a christian you can test a fellow person's character through what they do with money and how they handle money and their usage of money if you are going to a relationship you can do same you can test someone's character by how they use money because the usage of money by an individual only tells who the individual is at their core. The scriptures in 1 Timothy says, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. It did not say that money itself is the root of all kinds of evil. So first of all, you have to know that money is a neutral tool. In and of itself, it does nobody no harm. So let me answer this hidden question that might be in your heart as a Christian. Is it good to have money? Yes, it is. Because once you have a good heart, good intentions, good motives, and God has kept you grounded, it is good to have money. You need money to help people. You need money to go to the orphanages to offer help. You need money to do good things that you need to do. Number two, money answers everything, but money is not everything. Thing. Scripture says in Ecclesiastes, A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes merry, but money answers everything. What that clearly means is that money responds to everything. Like point one says that money is a neutral tool. Whatever calls it, it goes for it. That is why you cannot say, oh, this thing is bad. I'm not going to go for that. Oh, you want to kill someone? You're using me to finance it, to catalyze it. I'm not going for that. No, money cannot be answer to everything. From the context of that scripture, it said, feast is made for laughter, wine makes merry, money answers everything means money can make the feast happen, money can buy wine for that merriness. So to this point, it's for you to know that money answers everything, but money is not everything. It does not denote that money is everything, so all you need to get is just get money. Scripture never said that. Do not just think that it is money that is everything such that you will use people and extort people and abuse people and abuse the relationships that you have thinking that money is everything. It is not everything. You cannot use money to buy life. You can't use money to buy health. You can't use money to buy true friendship and true relationship. You cannot use money to buy love. You can't even use money to buy happiness. And I have a scripture for this if you think you can use money to buy love because I know someone might be like, really? I can use money to buy love because I've used money to get someone to love me. No, they don't really love you. It's not true love. You can't use money to buy true love. You can use money to get someone to be in a relationship with you, but you can't determine if they really care for you deeply or not until you run out of money. That's when you might know, do they really care about you? Or they came because of the resources you have. That is why some people, when they get some resources and get to have life experiences, they are scared of getting into relationship because they are like they don't really know who really cares for them. They don't really know if this person cares for who they are or cares for their resources. So the scripture says, "Flood waters can't drown love. Torrents of rain can't put it out. Love can't be bought. Love can't be sold. It's not." to be found in the marketplace. So you cannot even buy love, love with money. Money is not everything. It can answer to everything. So don't make your life all about money. Instead, make your life all about being of value to people. If you have money, use it to be of value to people. Number three, money is a defense. Scripture says, for wisdom is a defense as money is a defense. 
but the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. The truth is that money can shape you and protect you from poverty, from lack, and be of welfare to you and those of your household. And if you were to be asked of the good things that money could do for you or what you want to use money to do, of course you would enumerate some or a number of that. So money is a defense. But then this scripture says money should not go alone. Wisdom is a defense. The excellence of knowledge tells you that as much as you have money, you should pay your money with wisdom. You need wisdom as much as you have money because wisdom will help you to know how to use the money with purpose for the right thing, for the right cause, instead of allowing it to lead you into some unethical behaviors that will damage your life.